Hi guys, welcome to The Jenny Show once again. This is Asuka's newest mask. And here we have our white face paint just outlining the basic shape and filling it in with the exception of your eyes. Once you have that, you wanna underline those eyes in a medium green and extend about a half an inch past your own eye shape. This is gonna elongate the eye. And then you wanna use a very thin, flimsy brush to create those drips. Now, the drips look more realistic when you use a flimsy brush and a very light touch. You might also want to skip some space between drips to make it look like it's coming right off of your mask. You want to do that to the other side as well and here you can see more of the technique for those drips. One of the drips or both of the drips on either side connect with the corners of the mouth. You want to underline that mouth and drip as well. Of course, for my favorite part, you want to fill in half the lip on both lips and for the top lip, you want to extend your lip shape above your lip and make a very rounded shape for those lips. Now with the black, you want to fill in that empty space in the center. to fill in your eyelids the eyelids on the actual mask are very small so if you have big eyelids cut them in half and fill them in in black you want this eye to look very elongated for the hair on the mask they're basically three lines for each hair piece here I have a brush that does that for me but if you don't you can use a thin brush and use three lines for each hair piece with white face paint, we want to dot those eyes right in the center. I use a rounded um, nail art utensil. You can use any other rounded object, like a brush tip, and this will work better than just sketching them out. Of course, the eyes on the mask have a little blur to them, so you wanna take a fan brush once the pupils have been dried and use a little bit of paint to blur them out on each side. Go in with your pointed tip once again to make those pupils more vibrant. Lastly, you want to outline your mask and also shade with a medium gray right around it to make it look more three-dimensional. And there you have the final look. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment. This has been The Jenny Show.